Hi, this is Android Simplified episode 6 and today's video is all about data usage and how to monitor it. Okay, so let's get started. So if you go to your settings and click on data usage, this is what you'll see. Now from here you can choose to turn your mobile data on and off. So let me demonstrate. Let's turn it off. Now it will ask you if you want to disable your mobile data connection if you click OK and now your mobile data is off. If we tick the box again we can turn it back on like so. Now I'll come back to set mobile data limit in a moment. Let's first take a look at the data usage cycle. Okay so what you want to do here is set the date for your contract month start date or your pay as you go top up date. So my new contract month is on the 6th of every month so I'll change it by clicking on here, click and change cycle and changing the start date to the 6th of every month. Now as you can see the data usage cycle has now changed for the 6th of April to the 5th of May. Now what this does is affect this little graph you see here, more specifically these white bars here. Okay, now underneath the device you'll see the month start and end date and how much data you have used between these dates. So how does it set these dates? Now it's not saying the 6th of April or the 5th of May, it's in the 9th to the 28th of April and how much you've data you've used. Now it's pretty simple, these white bars basically represent, this one here on the left represents the start date and this one here represents the end date. So if we take it to the edges here, as you can see now it's the 6th of April to the 5th of May which is what I've set it to for, so, sorry, for my start date to be on the 6th of April and for my end date to be on the 5th of whatever the next month is. Now if I decide I want to know exactly how much data I've used let's say between the 10th of April and the 12th of April, if I move this bar here and find the 10th of April, there you go, 10th of April, and if I move this one to the 12th of April, there you go, and it tells me between the 10th and 12th of April, that's how much data I've used. Okay, so these bars here are pretty useful to find out what your data usage has been. It's also useful because as you move them, if you want to know how much data you've used between these dates here, if you scroll down, well at this point it's saying no apps were used or used any data during this time. Let's pick a time when apps were used. Okay, between the 8th and 15th of April. If you scroll down it will tell you exactly what apps were used between those dates. So you can see exactly what was taken up your data allowance during that time. So it's a really handy feature. Now you'll have noticed that there's an orange line here with a data number and the word warning written underneath it. Now this can be moved to a set point at which you'd like to be warned that you're close to reaching a set limit. Now this can be close to the limit you're given by your data service provider or a limit that you set for yourself. Now I get one gigabyte of data per month so I'm going to set my warning at around 850 megabytes. So as you can see I'll move it down There you go, a little further up. There you go, 805 megabytes. So once I reach 805 megabytes for the month, it doesn't matter where your white lines are here. But once you've reached 805 megabytes for the whole month, then a warning will come up letting you know that you're close to your data limit. Now you'll also see a red line here at the top of the graph. So let's go into detail as to what exactly that will do. Okay, so at the moment, even though I've set this orange line here at 805 megabytes, even though I'll get that warning to say that I'm close to my data usage allowance, I can still pass it. So I can still go over one gigabyte of allowance. I currently have unlimited data usage. So what you need to do, if you do want to cap your usage to ensure you don't pass this limit, you just tick this box here for set mobile data limit and click on OK. And now this red line that you were previously unable to move, 
can be moved as you can see here. Now what you need to do is you need to set that red line to the point of where your data usage allowance um, is. So for me it's one gigabyte. So if I set this to one gigabyte, there we are. What will happen is once I hit that one gigabyte data usage for the month, it will turn off any data it will, sorry, it will turn off my data on my mobile device automatically. In that way, I don't get charged for any excess usage and I can ensure that I never pass that limit. And then when my new month starts, which is on the 6th of every month, then it will restart itself and it will allow me to access my data again. Now, it's just a way of controlling your data usage allowance. I think it's really handy and helpful to have this feature here available on your device. It's up to you if you do set it on up, but I tend to always have this on. Okay, so below the chart now, you'll see a list of system programs and applications and a blue bar beneath each. Now, the blue bar signifies how much data was used by each program within the date specified by the white lines on the graph above. So if I move these white lines, it will tell me how much data was used within that time. So now if I want to know what I used between the 22nd of April and the 18th, so between the 18th and 22nd of April, it says no apps were used, uh, sorry, no apps used data during this time. Now, obviously, that's the case because it's the 18th today. I haven't used my data at all. And the 22nd of April hasn't been yet. So obviously, no data has been used. However, if I move it slightly more this way, so between the 13th and 18th of April, it will tell me that I used about 7.16 megabytes. And then it will show each of the apps and system programs that I've used and what exactly used that data as you can see there, and exactly how much each app or system program used. Okay. Now, to get more specific data usage details for a system program or application, you click on the app like so. So I'm going to click on system program for this demonstration. I'll click on the Samsung account. Okay, and this is what you'll see. Again, you'll see a graph with the white lines in which you can set a specified start and end date for the month, as you can see. Okay, 6th to the 19th of April, 14th to the 19th of April. So it's the same kind of graph like you saw on the previous page. Okay, and below the graph, you'll see a small pie chart with a key on the side as you can see there. Now the orange part of the pie chart shows how much data was used when the app was in the foreground, as in when you were using your mobile device. And the grey part will show how much data was used when the app was running in the background, which tends to be when your phone is in sleep mode. Now if you have selected a system program like this, which is a Samsung account, as you can see, then this option here to view the app settings is greyed out, so when you try to select it, nothing happens. If, however, I go to Flipboard, for instance, so if I go back and I click on Flipboard, okay, now you can see that, that this setting here is no longer greyed out. I can view my app settings. Okay, as, now as stated, this will take you to the settings within the application. So not the settings on your phone for the application, but the settings within the application itself. So if you click on view app settings, like so, it's bringing up my Flipboard settings here. Just an easy way to access them. So you can change it depending on what your data usage is. If you think it's a little too high, you can always change your app settings from within here to try and lower it down a little bit. Okay, so finally, you can also restrict background data for each individual system process or application from here. So if you go within the individual system process or application, right at the bottom beneath the pie chart and beneath where it says view app settings, you'll see restrict background data. Okay, so if you check this and click on OK, what you'll find is... It will save on data usage, especially for apps that use a lot of background data. Now, this does not necessarily mean that the application or system process won't run or update or alert you or send notifications um, once you check that box. 
because as long as you're within range of a connected Wi-Fi network, you'll still receive any updates or notifications for the app. It just won't happen via data usage, so it won't connect, um, so it won't basically use your data in the background to do any of these things. And it does save in your data usage, so you can use it, um, you can restrict your data usage to just when you're out and about and when you decide to turn it on which I think is far better. It works better for me anyway. Okay, well, that's the end of episode six. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have any questions or would like me to review an app or explain any features or settings on your mobile device, please leave me a comment and I'll do my best to get a video out. Now, I will be making more episodes, so please subscribe to my channel for my up-and-coming videos. Thank you for watching Android Simplified.